like me, alright, you listen to your music at home on your main PC or Mac. On iTunes, of course, that's what I use. Um, but if you're out and about, I use this little thing, my netbook, which I use at school to listen to my music on. Well, it's not just for that, but that's what I use to listen to my music on at school. But how do you get the exact same music you have there to hear? Alright, I'm not talking about videos, I'm not talking about any of that sort of thing, playlists, just the music, I just want the music. So how do you get all these albums, especially with an iPod Touch and an iPhone, it gets really complicated. It's not like a iPod Classic where you could just, you know, sort of go into the, uh, my computer in the, in the removable disk files and just do all that. It's a bit com more complicated than that. I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to head over to my computer right now. And uh, I'll show you how. So, here we are at the computer. Um, I'm going to give you a website that you can go to. It'll be in the description of the video. I want you to go to it, open it. Uh, there'll be a program here for Mac and PC. It's called Disk Aid. Um, download it. Install it. Then, wherever you've saved it on your desktop or whatever, open it up. Plug your iPod in, of course. It should find the iPod. Um, I believe this only works for iPod Touches and iPhones. I'm not sure you could try it with a uh, Classic or a Nano, but for now I think this is for a Touch. Um, you're going to want to go down here to the bottom left-hand corner where it says Disk Aid Folder, hit Media Folder, uh, hit iTunes Control, and then right-click Music, copy to PC, and I've created a folder on my desktop called iPod Music. So I'm just going to copy it straight into there, hit OK, and you'll see down in the bottom right-hand corner there'll be a progress bar um, which will load as it progresses. So I'm going to pause it and come back when it's done. Okay, so it's done it now, as you can tell. Um, also at the bottom it says, running on trial mode, 14 days left. So you've done it now once at least, so I mean, you have 14 days left to do it again. Okay, so once you've done that, close it, close the program, and it should be wherever you've saved it. I've saved it, like I said, on the desktop, under a iPod, which should open, evidently. Here we go. And in that folder, you'll find that music folder that we copied to it. Um, and inside, you'll see all these F folders with all this weird stuff inside. Um, and you'll probably be thinking, like, holy crap, what do I do? There's like an M4A, MP3, like all weird files that don't make sense at all. What you're going to do is, for this, you're going to open up iTunes. Um, so, yeah, open up iTunes. Okay, so once iTunes is open, you want to go back to that folder, the music folder, and just click and drag it straight into iTunes. Now I'm not going to do this because I already have my music there, so that would be pretty silly of me. But once you drag it in, it should just load all the music in, and you might need to rename a few. But for now, this is the only way that I've figured out how to um, get music off an iPod onto your iTunes library. Alright guys, so I uh, hope you like this. Comment, rate and subscribe. Do a video response if you have to. And uh, we'll see you later, guys. Bye.